Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Matt Antonelli and I own Combined Chiropractic and Acupuncture. Today I'm speaking on behalf of Standard Process and I wanted to make a video to go over what hemp is, how it differs from marijuana, and what are the different reasons um, people use hemp for. Um, so first we have to go over what hemp is. And hemp is a variety of plant known as cannabis sativa. Now, marijuana is also from this um, same genome and species of plant cannabis sativa, so that's why it is confused with each other, but they are very different. The hemp plant has been around for a very long time, and we have known since at least 10,000 BC uh, that the Chinese used to use hemp to create clothing, they made rope out of it, paper, uh, even bowstrings. Uh, and eventually, in AD, it became more as an anesthetic, so a pain inhibitor. The stalk of the hemp plant is very fibrous, and uh, those fibers are very popular for building products nowadays. We use it for insulation. Uh, it makes something called hempcrete, which is also similar to concrete, so they make walls out of it for buildings and homes. And hemp oil, uh, depending on its source and where you get it from, which part of the plant, can be used as a wood finisher. It could stain decks, you can use it for cooking, and it's also very popular in beauty products and skin products. Hemp is also used as a food product. You have probably used it yourself or seen them at the grocery store as hemp seeds. And hemp seeds are very, very rich in protein, fiber, they have a lot of healthy fats, vitamins, and minerals. Um, so overall, it's a very versatile plant and we could do a lot of different things with it. In recent years, especially now, it's becoming way more popular uh, for medical uses. Um, and that's what I want to cover, a reason why people are using it for various things. Uh, a lot of people see it on the shelf as hemp oil or hemp oil type products. Um, now, Again, hemp and marijuana are very different for their number of reasons, and one of them is the chemical composition of the both of them. Uh, hemp cannot get you high, plain and simple. Hemp contains less than 0.3% of THC, uh, also known as tetrahydrocannabinol. THC is the primary psychoactive in marijuana that's used recreationally to get you high. Now, since it has 0.3%, it's well known that hemp cannot get you high, even in large quantities. Um, so there's a big, big difference in composition there. Full spectrum hemp. Now, full spectrum means they get it from the whole plant. So the seeds, the flowers, the leaves, the stalk, uh, they extract oils from the entire plant. And full spectrum hemp has higher amounts of phytocannabinoids compared to marijuana plant and other plants as well. Um, phytocannabinoids are the compounds that give us all the various health benefits. Uh, one of the most common ones you've probably definitely heard of is CBD. CBD is one single phytocannabinoid. And as of now, we know of over 90 different ones. Um, so CBD is just one, and we need all of them to get these health benefits. So when you see a CBD product, it's very limited, and there's different ways to extract that CBD, and most products out there don't really have a lot of CBD in them. Um, so we do need to know what we are taking and why. Um, you can also make hemp seed oil, and hemp seed oil is very, very different from full spectrum hemp. As we talked about, the full spectrum has everything, including um, the leaves, um, the stalk itself, the flowers, and the seeds. The hemp seed oil is just from the seeds, and those seeds uh, do not contain those phytocannabinoids, um, but it does have a lot of other uh, benefits. It has a lot of other compounds and nutrients, fatty acids, and other bioactive compounds uh, that have their own health benefits. Uh, so the hemp seed oil again is, is good, but it's mainly good for cooking and skin products and beauty products. Um, some research actually shows that it's good for decreasing inflammation, which is interesting. Hemp number two is also legal in all 50 states from the Agricultural Improvement Act of 2018. Uh, another third difference is appearance and cultivation. Being that marijuana is bred for the flower components, it is shorter in nature with larger flowers and broader leaves. Uh, hemp, however, uh, is mainly used for uh, the fiber in its stalk. So it actually is skinnier, has skinnier stalk, has skinnier leaves, uh, and they grow way, way taller. Hemp actually can grow as tall as 20 feet, which is crazy. 
Um, they are both grown in different environments as well. Marijuana is typically uh, grown in a controlled indoor environment, doesn't do well on its own outside. And hemp is typically in large greenhouses and, and uh, large areas of different farmland. Another benefit is usage. Marijuana in its natural form and oil does have different medical benefits, um, but it's mainly used for recreational use uh, for that THC component that we talked about. Hemp in its natural form and the oil itself is used for a various number of reasons as we just covered, uh, especially environmental products, uh, cleaning products, um, building products, and actually there's known to be over 25 thousand different products that hemp can be used for in terms of oils or building products. Uh, all the way down to silverware and uh, plates that you can throw away. Um, so overall, very, very different. So I hope this uh, video finds, uh, to answer your questions, you found it helpful and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks.